So now you're on the public service announcement. Here's what I got for you here. So I've got two samples here of uh, public service announcements that were made years ago that are really good. I um, also have a link right here. I mean, this shows you what your public service announcement or PSA public service announcement needs to have. But this link takes you to a document I created uh, with links to specific topics um, in case you want to make sure the, the information you found is valid and scientifically accurate. Also at the top here, click on this one to read all the R's. This is what we need to do in a public service announcement is teach the public how to prevent uh, all the water pollution problems we have. And these R's are all great. <laughs> R's are. Yeah. Uh, so you've got that there. This tells you what to do. And for video or photos of your EV3 solution, it's just a photo or a drawing of whatever you created. The drawing could be on paper that you took a picture of, or it could be uh, one you did on your computer. This part, when you go to the task, tells you what you want to do uh, to write your blog post. First of all, we want to start with a picture that I'm calling a meme to hook your, your readers. Uh, and that first paragraph has to keep them wanting to read the rest of your post. Now, when you get pictures to make your, your meme, photos for class is great. I went to photos for class. I searched water pollution and I got all of these photos that are Creative Commons or public domain. You just have to give credit to where you got them. Uh, so I downloaded this one. Then I've got a video here that shows you how to use Adobe Spark. Uh, when you open up Adobe Spark and you sign in the way it shows in that video, you're going to want to go to create a project and view all. And then you've got templates here for different types of graphics you can put on your blog post. Um, you can look through these. You can make it Instagram uh, dimensions or any size you want, but it has to fit nicely on your blog. So think about that. And, and we're mostly focusing on graphics. So you can just go here and look just at graphics. So let's say you like this one. You click on it. And it's a template, so you can change things on it. So for example, let's say I want to get rid of this. I just click on it and delete. And if I want to change the words, um, I can click on edit and then change what it says here. Oh no. Dead fish. And if I don't want these, I can delete them or I can click on edit and change it. Well, let's see, in order to add a photo, I can go to add photo and upload. You can also use free ones that uh, are available on Adobe Spark. So choose where I'm going to pin it to the background. And that's the one I downloaded from uh, photos for class. And there we go. So this is just an example. Okay, that doesn't make sense. Delete that. I don't need... Okay, that goes with it. And this doesn't look great there, so I'm going to move it up here. And experiment with this. Play around with it. You can make really cool graphics. And then once you're done... Let's see, let's give it a name. Dead Fish sewage. That name lets me know exactly what it is. So if I see it uh, on my downloads folder, I'll know exactly what it is. And then you're done. I'm going to go download here. And you want to download it as a PNG. And I want solid color. I don't need transparency on there. And that's it. It downloaded it. Now when I go to my blog, and I do a new post, and let's say mine's about sewage. 
The Dangers of Sewage. Yeah, make it a catchy title. I'm going to insert my picture, insert image. And it's one that I created, but I did get it from Pixabay, so I have to give uh, a link back to Pixabay to where the image came from. But there we go. Boom. And remember, you can change the size here so it fits your blog. So start with that. Get the attention of whoever uh, looks at your post. And if you want to find out where to get the link to it, view on Pixabay. This is the link I want right up here. I'm going to control C to copy, go to my blog, and I can say from Pixabay. Highlight that, insert link, paste here, that's control V. And I always choose open this link in a new window so they don't ever leave your blog post. They're always right there. There, anytime you put a picture or a video, include a caption. Taught you that in class. Then I'm going to save it and I'm going to start typing here. Uh, just got to remember to move it back here. So I can start typing. And there you go. That's what you want to do for your public service announcement. And then when you're done, you can go to assignment, paste the link to your blog post here, and submit.